Carmen, how are you doing? I'm good. Good morning. Oh, damn it. Uh, I, sh- I shut the wrong one off. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, canceled. Uh, Carmen, how are you doing? I'm good. Carmen. <laughs> yes. I text you a phone number. Okay. A couple of minutes ago. Okay. Got Please. it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Last night I received word and I don't want to be, I don't want to call myself a hero, but I mean, I mean, if it, wasn't for, you hero. if it wasn't for me and I had to deal with all the backlash that came with it and all that, but last night I received word that Love Tiger is in the hospital. Oh, oh I told you. Yeah. I told you. But nobody, nobody in his family would have brought him to the hospital until the pressure was mounted from this show because mm. his feet looked like they were going to explode. They right. Did. Well, Moose said his leg was leaking. Oh. Oh, <laughs> why too yeah. early? I went to <laughs> like a maple tree. Yeah. <laughs> when I first moved to Wesley Chapel before I had any kids, me and my wife and my mother went to a Chinese restaurant that may still be there. It's a Chinese buffet in a shopping center. It's the only shopping center that was in Wesley Chapel at the time. And it was questionable. It didn't look dirty, but it didn't look like it was a good look like it was an empty room that they just lined up trays in, you know. So we went there, and actually the food was pretty good. And we were like, hey, the Chinese restaurant, all right, this worked out. And I had a sweet and sour chicken. Is that the one with, like, the red sauce? Not the yes. orange sauce, but, like, the red sauce? Yeah. yeah. So I had, uh, they had it separate. They had the sweet and sour chicken here and the red sauce here, and you had to put it in a little bowl. So I had a bowl of the red sauce. Then during the meal, some old lady, not that old, like, maybe, like, in her 60s, stood up, and she was wearing shorts and she was bleeding from her from her uh, shin on her leg, and it looked just like the sauce that I had. Mm, dip your chicken in it. Yeah, and I looked at it and I go, "Look, I can't." Do it. I go, "Ma, you're a nurse. Go do something." My mother's like, "I'm not touching that lady." Mm-mm. And um, I go, "Well, I can't eat anymore." So we left. So now every time I see sweet and sour chicken, I think of that lady bleeding from her shin, and I'm like, "I can't. I mm. can't do it." So it's delicious. I love sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, and because you didn't see a, a yeah. redneck lady with scabs on her leg <laughs> bleeding from her leg. Is this sweet and sour chicken uh, typo positive? Yeah. Or was, uh, <laughs> hey, lady, just put your leg over here and let me dip it in your shin. Oh. Oh, they, have, uh, uh. they have a sweet and sour fountain. Oh. Oh. It's just her leg <laughs> squirting. Uh, Carmen? Yes. Use that number, please. Right now? Yep. Okay. And it's a switchboard for where he is. Mm. And ask for John P. Johnson. John P. Well, I don't know if you need to use the P, but John, yeah. patient John Johnson. I don't even know if the P is real. It stands for patient. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't put Love Tiger on his chart. I mean, they may. I don't know. Uh, I guess. I guess in Tampa they're doing a Bucks drive-through rally, which is the dumbest thing in the world to me. Where you just drive through, and I think that you beep your horn or something, and they give you like a. a I don't know. They, well, they give, give you it, something. I think they give out. They're giving out flags. Okay, Fuck, flags. Fucking your flags. Which which will cost you probably twelve bucks if you buy them online. But the whole idea that there's a bunch of people out there with cardboard Baker Mayfield uh, heads and Antoine Winfield heads trying to hype up the crowd in the rain so you could drive through and get a flag is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. You do I don't not like it. people have fun right? sports. They're just trying <laughs> to support the team. You think that's a good team. idea? They're, trying, that's to, a good idea? No. Yeah, they're trying to support the team. I mean, I'm not, not going. supporting the team. You're right. I'm that's what going, I'm saying. I know I'm not saying they shouldn't do it. I just think it's the dumbest thing. They're getting excited for the playoff Who's game. Who's excited? Everybody. Oh, I, Bucks know, I know what it is. He saw some ladies. Uh, right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if sports fans are having a good time, Mike does not yeah. like that. Shut it down. <laughs> yeah. The next thing you know, they'll be tailgating. Look at these uh, people uh, supporting their hometown team. Bunch gross. of losers. What time does the tailgate start? Uh, what tailgate? Oh, no. come on, guys. This station's falling apart. Oh, come on. Falling apart. No, you want to know the worst part? Uh, Do you want to know why there's no tailgate? Huh? Because the owner of the property had already leased it out to somebody else. N- anticipating playoffs, which we didn't have planned, so he did the right thing business wise and leased sure. out somebody else oh. to Eagles fans. <gasps> oh, yeah. tainted mm. ground. Yep. T- this mm-hmm. ground is sour. Yeah. Don't worry. Sweet and sour. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I peed on that grass. Yeah. yeah okay, enjoy good, that. Yeah, yeah. Carmen, how are we doing? I am to my third connection. All right. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Keep your mic on so we can hear you. Oh, okay. Well, I- if if need be, you, you're allowed to roar. Yeah. Like Bob Tiger. <laughs> if, they ask, <laughs> if they ask who you are, say you're his wife. Okay. Uh, well, Mrs. Johnson. Yeah, Mrs. Love Train. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you ever seen that video with the uh, guy who is in, uh, what is the movie? Uh, 
Shaun of the Dead. Oh okay. yeah, oh. great movie. Not Simon Pegg, the other guy. Yeah, the where he wakes up <laughs> next to the lady and he goes, "Oh, it's a fat, ugly lady with moles on her face." And he's like, oh. gets his clothes together and he's like sneaking out and he goes downstairs and he looks over and there's a picture of him and her oh, yeah. in, a, in a wedding. She's in a wedding dress and he goes. Uh, <laughs> like realizing, realize, yeah. and then yeah. kid goes, kid uh, goes, morning, dad, and he goes, morning. Yeah. <laughs> That's that. funny. That is very funny. I know who that guy is because he came up on Jeopardy last night. Uh, oh yeah, it was one of the clues, and I don't, I didn't know his name. He's so funny. <clears throat> you saw an old Carmen? Yeah, could be dying. Oh, could be man. dying right now. Boop. Look at all those people Boop. standing outside with balloons. Oh, look at it. it's a girl. There's. Oh no, wait. That's oh, this is different. That's different. <laughs> That's family honoring somebody who oh, died. Oh, yeah. Why would you make fun of that? Calvin? Wow. No, I'm oh, saying you're, you're being mean about it because there was a girl that I thought, oh, it, was, I thought it was a sports rally. I didn't know. <laughs> Jesus. Did you see a uh, baker called Bert? <laughs> yeah. Please don't bring it down. Oh, I don't want to talk about no. It. All right. Yeah, no, I, I think it's great. Baker called Bert to thank him for uh, him and Tom buying a house here in Tampa for um, Habitat for Humanity, which is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is really awesome, but it just stinks that we can't get Baker Mayfield on this show, mm-hmm. no matter how hard we try. And uh, not that I'm mean, don't get me wrong, Bert 100 percent deserves you know him and Baker know each other and they do stuff together and all that stuff. But it's it's ridiculous that they can't make Baker available to the town in which he plays. But uh, he could do uh, you know FaceTime phone calls to a guy in L.A. You know, Got it. And no, it's not. It's just that the whole idea is Baker could have called Bert and said, hey, man, that was really cool what you did. You and Tom are great. Thank you. And not film it for social media because they want mm-hmm. to get people excited about the playoffs and do all that stuff. God forbid they should let Baker Mayfield talk to the most listened to show in the in the entire state of Florida yeah. and uh, a show that loves him and is excited that they're in the playoffs. No. You can't even say that we don't have any time. You really, you don't have any time. You have time to face call, FaceTime comedians, but yeah. you don't have time to, to, you know, be out there for your hometown. Yeah. yeah whatever. Like, I get it, and I'm not mad at, like, Baker Mayfield or anything because those guys have been burned so many times doing dumb sports interviews that they don't want to talk to anybody. Like, Mike Evans didn't want to do the interview he did with us. Then he did it, and he was like, no, nah, this was good. This was one of the good ones because it was easy to do and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, Rarely have I encountered a, a current NFL player that has said, I would love to do the interview. <laughs> like, yeah, really, you know they all did? seem like they don't want nothing to do. You anything. know who did Vita Vea? Yeah. When I ran into him at um, Shark Coast, he's like, let me give you my number. I was like, okay, cool. I didn't want to ask him for his number. Yeah. And he gave me his maybe, number and I texted him the other day and he goes to me. Yeah. Oh, maybe tough. it's just their PR. Pal, who knows? I, I get, I get the feeling that the NFL doesn't need us. <laughs> I feel like maybe they're going to be successful. You know what's so funny, Gio, is that, uh, I was very mad at the NFL when we, we had gone to Radio Row for a couple of years in a row and the Radio Row was in New York and I'm like, this is going to be the biggest and best Radio Row ever because it's in New York City yeah. and blah, blah, blah. And everybody said no. The NFL said no. We couldn't get in. SAP called the NFL Network. They couldn't help us. Tony went through Sirius because they had the NFL rights. They couldn't. The NFL completely shut us out of going. And they said it's because we have limited space. I'm like, how in New York do you have limited space? And the truth was, is that it wasn't in New York. It was in New Jersey. And that they had to hire a bunch of, uh, you know, union workers because you're not allowed to do anything. And it was a huge pain in the ass. It ended up not being a great radio row. So they were right. But I was so mad at the NFL. And I was like, I'll get you, NFL. And I thought (laughs) the worst part about it is you're powerless because there's nothing you could do. But then all this stuff happened with... um, Colin Kaepernick and the NFL started getting crushed in the ratings and everything was bad. And I was like, Oh, yeah. like Mike Calta wish a curse on you <laughs> has begun. <laughs> the heck. So yeah. Um, you know, the NFL is vulnerable in some aspect, but we're not going to take them down for not, uh, getting Baker Mayfield on the phone with us. It's just, it stinks that, uh, you know, because I coming from a radio station that had back in the day when I worked at an infinity and we had the, uh, rights to the games and we had player shows, I mean, it, it could be any day of the week that I'd have Sap, Simeon, Allstar, yeah. Ronde, Ronde and Tiki would do a show together. I had access to all these players. I would go into the locker room on Wednesday, grab a player and be like, do you want to be on the Monday quarterback show? We'll pay you like 250 bucks to do it. And they're like, yeah, they, none of them did it for the money. I don't even think any of the guys do those shows anymore. No, no, like, they can because when Gruden came in, he shut it all yeah, down. Yeah, those shows don't exist. Gruden came in 
and said, we have a losing team. No more this, no more that, no more show. Yeah. And then they tried to do a limited, they tried to do a coach's show because I think that was part of the contract. And uh, Ian will tell you, he, he grew and hated doing the show so bad that they ended up yeah. making that go away. So, and the Keyshawn did a show, but did it by himself. He wouldn't do it with a host. Right. So I would just sit in the studio while Keyshawn was doing the show for the ra- same radio station. And I would just prank call him every I, week. I feel like I remember when Sean King was the quarterback of the Bucks. They would do the radio show from Burger Kings around town. If that I, might be true. Am I imagining that? No, like, that I might be think true. That was happening. We did. We did the show from the Monday uh, quarterback show. Is from the armchair quarterback show. Is from Hooters on Hillsboro, yeah. and they actually had three um, uh, recliners set up up there, and we would do the show from there. But that was great because we had Brad Johnson. We we had yeah. any player we asked for, we got because you found out they were, they found out they were getting paid, which is not a lot of money. And it was only like for 40 minutes. So yeah. it was awesome. And people would come down there and basically it was just an autograph signing for a little while. It's also pre social media. So a lot of now there's other ways to get stuff out. You know what I mean? Like the players and. Yeah, but think about it. In the in the time that you had uh, the Super Bowl champion team, which was a couple of years of a build up too, you had every night you had the Brooks show, the Sap show, yeah. the coaches show, the Ronde show. It was, oh, I mean, Simeon Rice did a show and that was great. The Simeon show kind of change things a little bit because uh Simeon didn't want to talk about football and neither did I. So we would just talk we did a show one time about worst superhero powers. <laughs> we brought in karaoke machines and sang karaoke. I remember Booger McFarlane going, that, that's the funniest show I've ever heard. And yeah. the two of you idiots just talking like that. And Simeon loved it. And then the next year it was so successful that they sold it to some beeper company and we went out and I didn't want to do it there and he didn't want to do it there. We did one episode there and then Simeon said, I'm not doing it here anymore. And I go, good, you tell him. Yeah. And that was it. We were back at the station. I, it's, it feels like most of the teams now, they save all that content for their own st- their own social media, their yeah. own YouTube smart. channels and all that stuff. I mean, that's smart. Remember, like you know, the Tommy and Gronk stuff, all that. Like, yeah. Like, all the teams just save the content for their, themselves now. Yeah. You it's, know? It, it's smart. I miss the Tommy and Gronk days. I, f- I feel like that Tom Brady will never acknowledge that he played here, even though he won a Super Bowl here. He has a couple times this year. Like I, I, I listen to his podcast and he uh, like, he always says, he's like, I watch Tampa very closely. And they're, you know, when they, they'll talk about the, with Jim Gray, they'll talk yeah. about the week. And I, he I, always talks about Tampa. I was talking, I was watching uh Sunday with Gronk. Gronk was on Fox. Yeah. And he was talking about, um, teams to, to watch and all this stuff. They brought up the Tampa game and he didn't even acknowledge that he played here. He was like, I think Tampa can do it, blah, blah, blah. And they just rolled on like he'd yeah. never even been here before. And I went, oh, come on. I they don't were, think he knows he was here. They were rentals, man. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Well, thank yep. you. No, I would change thank nothing. You. It was fun. It was fun to have Gronk and Brady in our town for a couple of years. Yeah. Nobody knew. Nobody thought that they were staying forever or becoming the next mayor. So whatever. <laughs> I just imagine that uh, Gronk's agent is like, hey, we have a commercial for you. You're going to play an idiot. <laughs> and it, uh, Gronk already did that commercial. <laughs> nope. This is another one. Gronk this is the 15th you. one where you're going to be an idiot and they're going to pay you a bunch of money. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, when, when I met him, he just he was exactly the same way as that commercial. What his, what's his guy's name? Bingo uh, or whatever. He's got an assistant that's got like a name. Goon. Goon. And I go, hey, I talked to Goon. And he's Goon. Yeah, Goon. Call Goon. I go, I did. And he goes, get, get, Goon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, buddy. Good Ooh. talking. It was like I triggered a hit the wrong button in the system. Hey, Carmen, what are we doing? Yeah. Are we still on hold or no? No. So it rang for over five minutes. I uh, am. He's sleeping probably. Well, no. So oh. I'm messaging him on Facebook right now. He says he does. I can't call him because he does not have a phone in his room. What kind of hospital does not have a phone in his room? And again, I was patched to three different people. And then I was just on a line that rang for five yeah. minutes straight. Has Ooh, he been man. admitted to the hospital or is he just no, in the he's hospital? Admitted. He's he admitted. admitted yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday morning. But and then I uh, forwarded this to you, Mike, on Facebook because he says, uh, tell the guys I'm live on cam here, oh and he sent me a link. Live mm. on cam, right. live on cam, my little cam girl. Says, do we, uh-huh. So, do we know how he got to the hospital or in the hospital? Did something explode, or were they taken by ambulance, or did they? <laughs> that I don't know. Oh, oh. oh. I hold saw on. a glimpse. I gotta go live on on Instagram. Hold <laughs> on, glimpse. hold on. Oh, what man. was that, Carmen? What? <laughs> I just I got on the cam. Oh, I didn't oh, click man. it yet. It won't. Hold on. It won't let me connect. There's a commercial here for, uh, for I don't know something better sleep or something like that. So I think when that's over, I saw a tiger oh, sleeping. Oh, oh yeah. You clicked on it. Yeah. 
I All right, was, how do I get how do I get through this thing? Oh, there! Oh no. my God! Uh, what is this? So you can just watch your person in the hospital? I don't know. Hold on, let me let me make. Yes, yeah, so I think someone actually do have that. Good morning. Oh, hi, Love Tiger. Love Tiger, can you shut my volume off? <laughs> oh no! Oh man! Hold on. Uh, oh jeez. That doesn't look like a hospital. <laughs> no, it's a hospital. Love Tiger, can you shut my volume? We shut the radio off so we could talk. Oh, brother. Can you hear me, Love Tiger? Oh, he he's uh he's on delay, so he's not gonna hear this for another two minutes or whatever. But yeah, oh man, we got the Love Tiger health cam going on right now. Oh, that's there's Geo talking. All right. If you go on our Instagram where it's Instagram live right now, you could see Love Tiger live from the hospital with his sleep apnea mask on or his oxygen mask or whatever he has. But he doesn't know we're talking to him yet. No, he's way <laughs> behind. Yeah, yeah. All right, and so, on this, he's way behind too. What do you mean? I'm saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe, I sent it to you on Facebook as well. Thank you. Can you pull it up, Joe? I'll work on it. All right, so he, so I won't be able to have any conversation with yes. him. Yeah, this yeah. is go live. I wonder. I work on it. No. Okay. <laughs> so he's streaming live from the hospital bed. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. So does he have a laptop there? Or what? I don't, yeah. I don't know. I mean, for a guy who doesn't have a phone, yeah, yeah. right? No. You want to know the worst part is even before we talked about it on the air, there's already like, oh no, those are other people who are live. I was like, why are there fifty people in here? Oh, I think I could chat with him. It's great that Love Tiger's stream is better than Bone TV. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you chat with him what via text? No, I gotta I gotta sign in, I think. Uh, do it. Uh, join this thing or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, there he is. He's waving. There He's he waving. Giving a thumbs up. I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Give it to him, Joe. <laughs> Joe's flicking me yeah. off. What? Yeah. He looks no, like he an didn't. astronaut. Oh, no, he doesn't. Uh, no, like one <laughs> one that suffered. In, he was like an Apollo 13 astronaut yeah. that was injured in space. Subtract the tronaut. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we're live on Instagram <laughs> at the Mike Calta show, and we are... Uh, oh, he must be on his laptop or something. He, yeah, he looks like he's typing. So I'm going to the hospital. Let me grab my laptop. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Wild. if you're stuck there, most people do. No, I know, but I'm just saying, like, he doesn't have a phone. It just his yeah. whole uh, life. Or whoever yeah. took him there. Yeah, that's right. I, I would love to know who took him there. Well, I'm sure. I, I would. I would assume it's his mother. Let me see what I can hear here. Hold on. Oh, he shut it off. So, Love Tiger. I. I don't. I can't communicate with him because of the delay. But LT, if you hear this, can you show us your toenails? Oh, I just want to see if that was the first thing they did. If they cut his toenails when he went in the studio. I mean, I mean, in the studio, in the hospital. Oh, he can't. I don't want to hear me. Oh, jeez. His bed sheets are just shredded oh, because of his toenails. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should leave this up the whole show. Can you keep him up for a little bit on, on Bone TV? Yeah. <laughs> the tiger cam? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. What if he's like in an like ICU or something? We don't even know the status. Yeah. I mean,. I don't know. I see you probably would have him hooked up to more things. He's wearing yeah. headphones and a uh, and an oxygen mask. That's it, and, yeah. a, and a gown. Let me get a load of your uh, of your toes. That's that's what I want to see. Now, are we paying for this? How does this happen? <laughs> I, oh, I'm I don't, sure. This is a free a free service, a free video service, but you have to sign up for it. So I'm not signed in right now. No, so. I'm talking to him in the hospital. Oh yeah, no, the taxpayer money. I know. Here. I'm trying to figure uh, out how he got there because he's messaging me on Facebook. Um, but he ha does not understand the question, I guess. But he, he says this is where, um, like, the thing that he's streaming on, this is where he does his radio cast from. Oh, so all the people who are used to hearing. And now this is Bananarama with Cruel Summer are just staring at a guy in a gown in the, in the hospital bed. So are those all his followers that are watching? No. Oh. Well, there's one follower that he's having a conversation with over here. There were, it looks like there were two. And then over here, are other people that are streaming live, like Rhythm ninety eight point three in Miami, is streaming yeah. live. Uh, Damn right, uh, yeah, I love them. Uh, oh, hold on, I almost had a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, uh, message uh, Rhythm ninety eight and see who their video guy is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, if they're streaming, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's working. <laughs> so uh, he he is. Oh my god, he is eighties. Live from Tampa General. 
Hold on, General Hospital. Oh man. But at 80s underscore A T O U. No, yeah, I don't want everybody. Oh, he's, oh, all, on. he's all the way down to Tampa General from Spring Hill? No. He's in a different place. I'm oh. gonna tell the whole world where oh. he is. But uh he is he is live in the hospital. Oh, hold on. Looks like there's some movement. Uh oh. Yeah. I mean, I've seen him look worse. I, I, don't know. I mean, from what I'm looking at in this angle. That looks pretty bad. Yeah. He, yeah. It looks Those like legs eyes crossed. are bad. Oh, yeah. they, it's just bad news. It's not. <laughs> anytime a part of your body swells with the edema yeah. and so, you know what I mean? Like there's problems. But if he's not on medication, they could just give him like a water pill and he'll pee it all out. So. Uh, not, yeah. They like, don't just stick a pin in there and let it run out. Like those, like the horses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could be an infection. They got to take oh, the yeah. leg. Ooh, when you said, when you said his ankle was white, like it's gripping something yeah. for no reason, and I looked, it was disturbing. Yeah, well, it was it's pushing with so much yeah. force. Yeah. It looked like there were barnacles on it. Yes, that mm. was the weirdest part. Uh, there looked somewhat like an uh, open wound that Ugh. was infected. Mm. That means they have to take the leg. Mm. Well, I mean, I, I wish Love Tiger would talk to me. I just don't know how. Love, uh, so Love Tiger said he got to the hospital by ambulance. Oh, see? oh see? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh man! Imagine when they got in there and saw those toes. He they were probably like, I'm not taking them. There's no diagnosis he can give? It was his, I, can I say? I don't know. Yeah. What, ask him. Mother? Say, yeah, is it all right for him to say? For I'm going to say it. I'm going to ask. Ask what? If I can tell you guys, I'm just going to text it. And then if you want to say it, you can say it. I'm not kidding. No, but what do you mean? It, he's telling us this information, so it's okay. No. Yeah, if he's <laughs> telling you, Carmen, he knows he's okay. on the radio. Well, I texted I mean, you guys, so you know. <laughs> I'm not, you can't me. Carmen got fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you worried about? I don't know. Listen, the, the HIPAA violations and everything. You're not a doctor. Yeah. It doesn't apply to you. You don't know me. No, I, I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not really do. You're not going to be able to wear your nurse's outfit anymore. <laughs> exactly. oh, what is it? I don't want to say it. He, he said I he can't was having, look at it because I'm live. He said he's having trouble breathing and uh, I guess stuff with his heart. Oh, yeah, that's allegedly. Good. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> well, I mean, think about is that. Is that what Carmen said? Yeah. <laughs> that's what Gio said. Thanks that's what Carmen said. Uh, no, that. yeah. it's what Gio said on air. Carmen, you're the best. I got that information from Sandra <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> oh, my God, Gio. Oh, full name, Gio. <laughs> Bro, so, too far. so seriously, think about his legs and stuff and all the problems that are going on with that to make those swell blood clots and everything. Uh, if that's going to his heart or lungs breaking or anything. News, Galvin, he's showing me his hand yeah. oh, instead no. of his toenails. Got and he IV? still has Wolverine nails on his oh, hand. Jesus. And he does have an IV. He looks like Oswald Cobblepot from Batman. Yeah, he does. He really does. <laughs> All right, put your hand down. I can say thank you. Um, wow, we're watching Love Tiger live on video, live on Bone TV, and live on Instagram mm. right now. This is like watching that giraffe that was going to have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Well, before we wrap this up, I think it's important if we uh, take a couple of seconds to appreciate what Love Tigers brought oh, to the show. No. By the way, he's my local pick. Just so you guys know. Oh, no. No. Uh, what? You haven't picked him yet. I picked just now. No, that's not how it works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. Spanish, uh, you go first. Say goodbye to Love Tiger and thank him for all he's done. Love Tiger, I just want to say thank you for your minimal contributions to the show. You were always uh, sweet to me, even though you ran away numerous times and forced me to chase you down. I wish you luck. In heaven or wherever you end up. Gio. Love Tiger. I hope you pull through, buddy. But if it's not looking good, I'll always remember the time that I chased you down the hallway because you didn't want to get shocked with Medicine Man. <laughs> and then you ran out the back door and I said, well, he's out of here. <laughs> Gowan. Love Tiger, even though it was only short lived, you are my favorite show announcer we ever had. Sure. And the way you cut your own deal to make $500 for the entire year was one of my favorite things. <laughs> also, I loved how anytime anything got too much, you would shut down and just stare at the floor. <laughs> like you, we couldn't see you if you weren't looking at us. And for the love of God, I hope you pull through because I really do enjoy Love Tiger. Uh, Joe? Love Tiger, I do appreciate all the all of your contributions as well. I hope that you uh, have your toenails sanded soon, and I hope that you pull through. I love you, bro. Um, oh. Carmen doesn't want to go because she doesn't want to get in trouble, but she did send me a text. <laughs> no, don't, yes. don't Dear say Love it. Dear Love Tiger, Dear Love Tiger, 
I have always secretly loved you in my heart mm. and found you to be the most sexually attractive of all the people that I've worked with on the show. Mm -hmm. If you were, if you were to live a couple of more days, I would make wild love sex to you. But since you're dying, I'm sorry that'll never happen. Mike, that was a your text. Amen. Peace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love Tiger. I'm, I'll text you, Mike. There you go. All right. All right. I'm going to shut off Instagram. Bye, say, say bye, Instagram. There you go. Okay. And actually, I, I'm going to let Instagram keep going. I don't know why I would shut it down. No, nah, I got to shut it. Hold on. And now I'll put up the video of you staring at Love Tiger. I think you could share the link so people could go watch it. I don't know. I don't. Does he want to? I don't I mean, know what the rules live. are. Oh, now Carmen's just putting out links. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. say what was happening, but yeah. uh, putting out links is fine. Yes, because he put out a link. Mm. He wants people to go watch him. He has five. He's the company. Yeah, five viewers right now. Five. I bet we could get that up. <laughs> All right, I'll put it on our Facebook page because it's easier to link there. Okay. This sounds like a violation. <laughs> he sent the link. <laughs> uh, all right. 